Here are some of the most common causes of rheumatoid arthritis, which of course we know has an autoimmune component to it. And there has been some evidence as to a viral cause being Epstein-Barr virus as a causative factor for rheumatoid arthritis, as well as bacterial components. And of course, leptin resistance, which is something that I talk about at length in other videos. If you've missed my leptin resistance and what to do about it, please check out my other videos. But in this review, it was actually investigated that in patients with rheumatoid arthritis, numerous studies have evaluated the concentrations of leptin in the bloodstream and or the joint cavity itself. And they found that higher levels of leptin as compared to the control populations were found in those with rheumatoid arthritis. So they are now potentially correlating high leptin levels and maybe that leptin resistance, meaning that the brain's not getting that leptin signal and therefore the leptin levels are high and of course that relationship with being overweight and having extra body fat definitely will raise leptin levels as it's related now to rheumatoid arthritis which is interesting to note. So today I talked all about the causes of rheumatoid arthritis. I hope you have some questions or comments for me. Drop it in the comment section below and be sure to share this video. Also give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel welcome in. Please subscribe and click the bell. Now everyone has a calling in life and one of mine is to educate you how to naturally live a healthy lifestyle. Thanks for watching.